Second stage, most important stage, is nosing. You are assessing the aroma. The first, the first assessment is called the nose feel effect. What physical effect does the, the, the whiskey have, the aroma have on the nose? Is it drying? Is it cooling? Is it sharp, prickly, uh, warming? Um, and it's, I mean, it's really an assessment, by and large, it's an assessment of, of uh, the alcohol, but also the spice that might be in the, in the, in the individual dram. This is quite mild, but it's got a, a, a certain spiciness at the back. Spiciness or nose feel effect is useful when it comes to judging how much water to add. I mentioned that you should always add water, I mean, or, or almost invariably add water. You want to add enough, in my view, add enough to take off that prickle when it comes to, to adding, adding water. So then you look at the aroma. Now this is overall, it's got a top note of sort of burnt caramel, a mid note of um, scorched wood, I would say, and then a base note, frankly, of smoke. This is a smoky whiskey. A phenolic um, whiskey. I would guess probably an Isla whiskey, but the um, we'll see. So it's a relatively simple nose. We're looking for, you can run through your mind, um, the, I mean, this one's quite easy to describe, some are much more difficult to describe. It's very difficult to describe aroma um, and it comes with practice, you know, and it's just for fun for goodness sake. The um, you know, for sharing with friends, you know, sort of, and do you get this? No. Do you get this? Yeah, maybe. And, uh, and it's often, smells tr trigger memories, and particularly memories of childhood. It's extraordinary how at some panels um, people will, they'll come up with a, I've, I've been at panels where, where tears have come to, come to the, the eyes of panelists um, when they're taken straight back to some distinct memory of childhood. It may have been you know, Christmas at their grannies, or um, you know, far, firework night, or um, sweeties. A lot of childhood sweets, some of them no longer available, um, will take people to. They can smell them. Spangles, you know, refreshers. Um, uh, take them straight back to to mem memories of childhood. Um, so this is very much part of the the, the enjoyment. Um, that the, you, if, there, if there are smells there which, re, which remind you of things, that we, and when we say, when we, well, I mean, let's take fruity. Fruity is a very common descriptor for Speyside whiskies in particular. And so you'd smell it and you say, fruity. And then I'll say to the panel, right, are we talking dry fruit, fresh fruit, citric fruit, tinned fruit, cooked fruit, baked apples, you know? Um, and I try and get them to, to, to narrow down. So it's fruity and then narrow down. It's all, it's all part of the fun, but it's also very useful for, the, for me uh, as the chair or the other chairs of panels who have to write up the notes. And by the way, the notes are not just invented by us. Well, they come from the panelists and there's a discussion. And obviously if somebody gets something which is really weird and which no, nobody else gets, then you know, I won't, I won't put it down on my, on my list of descriptors.